2945Z two-speed control vacuum. I got this for a dollar at a yard sale, so of course I couldn't resist. This is the on and off button, and then you press this one on the right once, and the brush spins, of course, and you tap it a second time, and it spins faster. So they're saying once for floor and twice for carpet, but all it does is speed up the brush. Now, you just rock this back to lower the handle, and the handle is completely movable, very um, flexible. Now, see this button at the top? You press this, and it sort of collapses the handle so you can get under stuff. To empty the vacuum, you simply push on this, and the tray slides out. And it's pretty gross. I don't really like the design of the tray. If you look in the back, there's like little corners. There's space behind these two posts. So I had to dig out with an old toothbrush, all this grunge. I would think the tray would be one nice smooth trench. So I'm gonna empty it back in. And like I said, I got this at a yard sale, so it's seen better days. Okay, on the back, it on the left side, it has this little section that can pop off so you can get access to the end of the, of the um, roller. So you see this little slot here? I'm just going to put a coin in there. Turn that a little bit. And that pops off. That gives you access to the belt and if you have to clean out any grunge. So now if you need to replace the belt or if you ever need to replace the motor, it's just like a little project motor. We're going to take it apart and see how we would do that. Okay, to put this back on, you just put it in. See that little tab at the, at the front? Put it in. Put it down. And move this back. There, you hear it snap a little bit. The first thing we're going to do is turn it over and remove the battery. And make sure you don't press the button on the other side and accidentally turn it on. So we're just going to remove the battery and just disconnect it. This is not the original battery. This here is the original battery, but since I bought it at a yard sale and it had sat in someone's garage for a very long time, I went ahead and replaced it. There, and inside the case it says, use the Shark XB2950 battery. We have to remove 10 screws. They're all the same size, which is helpful. So here's two, four. There's one right here in the corner. I don't know if you can see it down there. Five. Here's one up here. Right there in that little hole. Mine's actually rusted out. Six. One over here. Seven. One right here by the left wheel. You can't hardly see it. Down there. There it is. Eight. One up here, top right of the roller. Nine. And the last one, tenth one, is hidden under this panel, number 10. So just go ahead and take them out. Once all the screws are out, you basically just pry the two pieces apart, open the case slightly, and pop these wheels out. There we go. See, there's our belt. We remove it from the roller. So it's extremely basic. The handle just pops off. There's the battery connector. This is the charger connector. Just sits right back in there. The belt number is 2M-336-5. And the motor is just like, like I said, a little project motor. And let me see if I can get a close-up of it in case you ever need to replace it. That's a good look at it. Look, underneath the motor, there's a little circuit card. I removed two screws, one here and one here. And this is the switch that changes the speed of the motor. So you see, it's almost like the power switch on the other side which you'll see in a minute, it has a little plunger. There's the LED lights. So you can just make sure that's nice and clean. 
and put it back together. Make sure the plunger, make sure the plunger is going down in the middle of that when you put it back together. Okay. So take a look at these two nubs here, one here and here. Make sure the motor is sitting with the spindle as far as it goes here and the nubs are to the left and right. So far that way as it'll go. And then this goes right here. Remove these two screws, one here and one here. This just lifts off. And you see the switch. This goes on top of that spring in there. And I actually have some dirt. Ugh. Let me get that out there. So you can clean that out if your switch isn't working well. See, I'm just going to get all the debris out of there. I'm just going to sit it back. Make sure that plunger goes inside the middle of the spring. There. i put my screws back in. Now, while we have it apart, we're going to take a look at the roller. I'm just going to lift it out. Now, if the spindle it's clogged with dirt on the right side it just pops off and you can remove any hair or anything that you have wound around that stem now we're supposed to take a scissors and cut all this hair off to clean it up let me go ahead and do that now I'm going to go ahead and make sure my belt is around the spindle of the motor that way it's already in place when I put the cover back on there and I'm going to make sure my plug is right there, fits right there. And make sure the motor's nice and tight all the way over to the left. And you'll see there's a little nub here and here. Make sure they're at the end so, to, so it can't move. You don't want the motor to be able to move back and forth. See, it can't move that way or this way. Okay, so I'm going to put this back on. Make sure I see the belt coming through this hole. Very good. Make sure you don't crimp your battery connector. The battery connector has to come up through that hole. Very good. Okay. Now, before I put it together, I have to put my handle back in and see how it sort of slopes down. Have it sloping down. Open this up in the back and see how there's nubs on each side. Just has to go put it in and then like pull it up, have it snap in. And now take a look at the wheel. See how there's little tiny, not much, but sort of a little protrusion. One on each side. I've marked them with a black magic marker line. They need to go right horizontal in between the top and the bottom of the case. So. Make sure it's open a little bit, put it in, so the line's at the side, on each side. Now you have to push it in hard, real hard, because there's a nub on the top too, so you have to get it over that lip. There's a lip at the edge. And now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. I haven't marked this one, but I think you can see it, see that line of plastic, so put it in, push it in real hard, push down, and then snap the case shut. So it's all together. I'm going to put my 10 screws back in. So on this side, you should have a tiny little washer. Put that on first. This is going to be the right side. Then put your little nub on, metal side down, and insert the right side in first. And just twist it until you feel it popping in or, you know, being seated properly. There. And now this side has a groove. You should feel it sit in there. And the roller will not wiggle back and forth at all. Now I'm going to put the belt over the teeth on the end. And we're good to go. Insert this back in, top first, so it 
pops. Now I'll turn it. Waste bin back in. There. There we go. And and we're all buttoned up. Go ahead and turn it on. Turn it off. So that's our shark vacuum. We took it apart, we cleaned it up, put it all back together, and it's functioning great. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.